Last month, I showed you how to make this dollhouse for your dollhouse, and I asked you whether you wanted to see how to make some furniture for it as well, and most of you said yes, so finally, here it is. Just like the dollhouse, these teeny tiny pieces of furniture are made mostly out of cardstock, and you can use cardstock from old packaging if you want, although I recommend using regular cardstock for all the parts that require folding, since this thinner type of cardstock is just a little easier to fold. Make sure you watch until the end of this video to get the free printable template to make this project and now let's begin from the first floor of the house which will host the kitchen and living room. Cut this piece into cardstock and since this part requires folding I suggest using thin cardstock. Fold all the sides, then glue the tabs to create this small box, which will be the fridge of our little kitchen. Cut this next part into cardstock and this time I used the thicker one from old packaging and glue the two pieces to the front of the little box. Color everything with acrylic paint, then apply a coat of clear nail polish to give the fridge a glossy finish. Now take a paper clip or a knife pin and cut two little pieces, one about a centimeter long and the other about half a centimeter long. Glue these little bars to the front of the fridge like this. Now cut this part into cardstock to make a miniature kitchen cabinet. Fold the sides and glue the tabs to create a tiny open box. Then cut this part into cardstock. Glue the bigger rectangle to the back of the box and the two smaller ones to the front, like this. Color this little cabinet with acrylic paints and set it aside to dry. Now cut this part into cardstock and glue the two elements together. To make the sink, cut this part and fold all the sides upwards. Then cut this part into paper and glue it all around the cardstock part this way. Glue this piece to the cardstock frame we made earlier, then glue the resulting piece to the top of the cabinet. If you want, you can give the sink and countertop a shiny finish with clear nail polish. Now take an eye pin or a paper clip, cut it and bend it to give it this U-like shape. Pierce a small hole on the edge of the sink, then add a tiny bit of glue and slide the metal bar into it to create a little faucet. To make a little oven, cut this section, fold the sides and glue the small tabs. Then cut this part and glue it to the back of the little box. Paint the front of the box with black nail polish. Now cut this part and glue the three elements to the front of the little oven. Use a black marker and a white pen or white acrylic to draw some tiny knobs on the front of the oven. Then cut these little circles and glue them to the oven's top part. I advise skipping this step if you're using my free printable template. Instead, paint the circles directly on the oven with a black marker. Lastly, cover the entire piece in clear nail polish to give it a shiny finish. Next, let's make a dining table. Cut this part into cardstock and glue the two elements together. Then cut this part and glue the elements two at a time to make the table's legs. Glue the legs to the back of the table. Then paint everything with acrylics. Now we can make some dining chairs. Cut this part and glue the elements in pairs, like this. Then glue one part over the other and paint the resulting piece with acrylics. Now cut this part to make the chair's legs. Once again, you'll have to glue the pieces two at a time and then color them with acrylic paint. Finally, attach the legs to the seat to assemble the miniature chair. Next, we're going to make a sofa and an armchair. Cut this part and glue the three layers together. You should end up with these two pieces. Now cut this part, fold its sides and glue the small tab to create a tiny open box. Glue this box to the piece we made earlier, centered horizontally. Cut this part and repeat the same process. Now cut this part and glue all the layers together. You'll have to make four of these. Glue these pieces to the sides of the little sofa and armchair. Then cut this part and glue the two sides together. You'll have to make four of these as well. Glue three of these elements to the sofa and the remaining one to the armchair. At this point, we can paint the little sofa and armchair with acrylics. And just a reminder, you'll find a link to the free printable template at the end of this video. And if you own a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can get the digital templates in my shop linked in the description box. Now, if you want, you can use a few small beads to add legs to your sofa and armchair. To make a small coffee table, cut this part and glue the two sides together. Then, cut this part and glue the elements in pairs. Attach the legs to the table's top and finally color the resulting piece with acrylic paints. We can now move on to the second floor of our miniature dollhouse, which will host a bedroom and a bathroom. Cut this part into cardstock, fold the sides and glue the tabs to create the base of a little bed. To mimic a blanket, 
Paint two-thirds of the base with a color of your choice. Then cut this part into paper and glue it to the bed, like this. Cut this part into a piece of paper, fold it and seal the ends to create a little pillow. Glue this pillow to the bed. Lastly, cut this part and attach the layers two at a time. Paint the resulting pieces with acrylic paint. Then glue them to the front and the back of the bed. Once the bed is ready, cut this part to start making a nightstand. Fold the sides and glue the tabs to create a small box. Cut this part and glue the two elements to the front of the little box. Then color the finished piece with acrylic paint. Paint two tiny knobs on the drawers using a dotting tool or a toothpick. Now cut this part and glue the two sides together. Color the resulting piece with acrylics, then glue it on top of the little nightstand. I decided to make two nightstands, one for each side of the bed. We can now move on to the bathroom. To make a little bathtub, cut this part, fold it and glue it to create a little open box. Then cut this part and glue it on top of the box. Now cut this part into copy paper and glue it over the sides and bottom part of the little bathtub. Paint the bathtub with acrylic gesso, then cover it with clear nail polish. To make the faucet, take an eye pin or a paper clip, bend it and cut it like this. If you want, you can glue a small bead to the base of the faucet and paint it silver. Glue the faucet to the bathtub. Now we can make a tiny bathroom sink. Cut this part, fold the sides and glue the tabs like this. Then cut this part and glue it over the front of the little box. Color the resulting piece with acrylic paints. Now cut this part and glue the two layers together. Color with acrylic gesso and use clear nail polish to give shine. Pierce a small hole into the cabinet's top. Then, just like we did earlier, use a paper clip or an eye pin to make a little faucet. Slide it into the hole in the cabinet's top, fixing it in place with a drop of super glue. Lastly, glue the top to the cabinet's base. To make a little toilet, Cut this part and glue the four layers together. Then cut this part and glue one element on each side of the piece we just made. Repeat the same steps for this part. You should end up with this. Now cut this part and attach it to the top of the tiny toilet. Now this is completely optional, but I decided to use my homemade 3D paint, fill and smooth out these sides of the toilet. Then I covered the entire piece with acrylic gesso. Finally, apply a coat of clear nail polish to make the surface shiny. We can now start to work on the third floor of the dollhouse. Make the bed the same way we made the other one. Cut, fold and glue this part to make a mattress. Color it with acrylics to make a blanket. Cut and glue this part to make the sheet. And finally, cut and glue this part to make a pillow. Then cut this part and glue the elements in pairs, this way. Color them with acrylics and attach them to the front and back of the bed. I decided to add this simple tiny design to the headboards. Now we can begin building a small desk. Cut this part and glue the two layers together. Color the finished piece with acrylic paint and set it aside for a moment. Then cut this part, fold it and glue the tabs to make a tiny box. Cut this part and glue the three elements to the front of the little box. Cover the whole piece with acrylic gesso. Then use a dotting tool or a toothpick to paint three little knobs on the drawers. Lastly, cut this part and glue the two sides together. Paint them with the same color you use for the desktop. At this point, we can put together our little desk. This way. Next, we can make a chair to go with the desk. Cut this part and glue the elements in couples. Then glue one of the resulting pieces to the other, like this. Let the glue dry, then paint a finished piece with acrylics. To make the legs, cut this part and once again attach the layers in pairs. Color them with acrylics. Then glue them to the left and right sides of the seat. Eventually, you can add a little design to the sides of the chair with acrylic paint. Now we can make a teeny tiny dollhouse for our little girl's bedroom. And yes, this is officially the dollhouse inception. Cut this part into lightweight cardstock, then fold and glue the sides. Now cut this part and attach it to the bottom of the piece we just made. Paint the front of the house with a light shade and the roof with a contrasting color. Then use a pencil and a pen to add a few minor finishing touches, such as shingles for the roof and frames around the windows and door. 
And this was the last piece of furniture for our miniature dollhouse. Now our Barbies can truly have fun playing with it. As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And if you're interested in the SVG and Silhouette Studio files, there's a link to my shop in the description box. I suggest you watch this video next to find out how I made my dollhouse for my dollhouse using paper. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!